I am back here at Hobby Lobby and I am just um, picking up where I dropped off last time. Um, I, in my last video, I kind of just uh, showed you kind of how I had a kind of like almost a perfect day for my birthday. And uh, today, I actually picked up the print that I dropped off in that video from last time. So let me show you. Okay, so it still has the plastic on it, so you probably can't see it as well, especially with the sun on it, but I'll show it to you when I hang it um, back up at home. Um, since all of the sunlight and stuff on it is kind of blurring the image, but it looks really good. Um, and I can't wait to show it to you. Now it's been three weeks since I have done that last video and I have yet to actually create um, a video just for the tree tones and the blue trees um, exhibit that I walked around. I showed you a glimpse of it, but I really wanted to show you a, um, a longer video of it because it deserves it and um, it still was an amazing art installation and um, so I am going to actually show you all of that and then when you come back I'll show you what this print looks like at home and I'm just now thinking it kind of all goes together in some way because this is a tree print and I'm going to show you the tree tones and the blue trees so we'll just call this the tree episode. This is cool because I'm noticing that the trees, the blue trees keep going all the way back. So I love how they, it really does make them stand out and makes you really look at them. Okay y'all, I don't know if you can hear me, but do you see all of these vines, just like these twisted vines right here? I can't help but think, wouldn't that be amazing if they would have been painted blue? <gasps> that would just absolutely amazing. And I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can zoom in. There is a squirrel just right in the corner, kind of like a little wreath. And he's eating. And my like little artist heart is just like going crazy because this would be amazing. And the cool thing about being an artist is that I can actually go home and paint what I see. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but it's really cool. But can't you see it? Can't you just see that whole, like, wreath thing being blue and then the little squirrel in the corner? Precious. Okay, so I am home, and um, I got the plastic off of this print. And I just want to kind of show you what they did on the back, which I really like. All right, so this is the back of it, and these two sheets... Um, came with the um, art piece and so they put it in a nice plastic sleeve and taped it on the back but it looks really good. I think Hobby Lobby does a great job with framing. Hi! So I decided just to come and hang it up in my bedroom for now. Um, I really love this print because there's like all of these hidden Mickeys on the back of it and um, I just think it's fun just to be able to keep staring at it and see well it's hidden mickeys and hidden characters as well so uh, let's see if i can find one on here okay so right here let's see there you go right there that is a hidden i think it's dumbo i think it's dumbo right there but then you can also see like up here let's see there we go see the hidden um, Pluto 
I think that's Pluto. But um, yeah, so I have it in here for now. I really like it. Again, um, you probably can't tell on screen, but there is a slight, um, let's see, there's a slight blue tone in here, which I like because it kind of brings out the blues and the sky. And yeah, yeah, so I really like it. I, um, I think that Hobby Lobby did a great job. I have it here in my bedroom for now, but I don't know if I'll leave it here or not. Originally, I was planning on putting it like in a common area in our house so the girls can um, continue to search for the hidden characters and Mickey's, and I thought that would be really fun, especially like when guests came over, they would enjoy being able to look for it. And so, um, but for now, I have a hole in the wall already, and I just, um, since I'm not sure exactly where I want to put it out in the common areas, um, I just very just go ahead and hang it up in here. Plus, I want to kind of just look at it every time I get up in the morning and when I'm in here um, reading in my chair over here. I kind of want to be able to keep looking at it. So, um, I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll go back and get a, a bigger print of it. And that's the one that can go out in the common area and keep this one in my room. Thank you so much for following along with me um, as I went to the... Um, to the trees and the art installations. I hope that it inspires you to just kind of get out and explore your own area, even if it's just walking through um, woods or a trail or something and just really paying attention to the sounds that are going on around you and listening to the, I'm um, just really paying attention to the trees and the shape of the trees and and um, just really appreciate nature. That's what, the, that's what the whole purpose of this art installation was. That was the purpose of me showing that to you. Hopefully maybe inspired you. Like I know for me, um, one of these days we've always talked about having land and we want to have a wooded lot and just going to see those tree tones and being able to hear the wind chimes in the trees just made me think, ooh, I would really love to be able to hang some wind chimes up in our trees if, you know, one day we get a lot with um, with all these trees on it. So, you know, whatever it may, whatever it may be, um, I just really hope that it did inspire you and that you will go out and just appreciate nature uh, sometime this week. So I will chat with you later. Thanks for joining me. Bye. Mm -hmm.